What's up guys? It's Daz here. Billion of Recares, we're about to hit rock bottom. According to the Toast Assistant, ghosts, booze especially, have been very active in the mine. Perhaps the security image will tell us what they're up to. Well, let's give it a gook. Give it a gook, give it a look. Hey youngster, uh, give it a gander, give it a look. That's what was going on in my head, I understand it now. I finished processing the security image. Shall we take a look? Uh, sure. Oh, right, this looks beautiful. Yowza, what's all this? Look at those ghosts stuck in the crystals. Did the booze put them in there? Why? And how can they not leave? Surely they're ghosts, so they can literally go through things. No? Okay. Let's have a look then, shall we? What do we got? This is the slowest movement ever. There we go. In his latest report, the, do the toad said something about the crystals having strengthening qualities. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, anything else? We've got some teleportation portals. They seem to be extracting crystals from that quarry. Why would they need crystals? I don't like this at all. I don't like this either. Mainly because I'm playing a game that I'm not too fond of sometimes. It's just like the toad said, the boos are running amok. How dare they push a minecart. That shadow, does it look familiar to you? Nah, I'm just imagining things. Hmm. Oh no. They've been dragging that painting all over Evershade Valley. Whoever's behind all this really cares about that painting. Hmm. I believe that's all we can get at this point. I mean, unless there's like a super secret thing over here, but I don't think so. Luigi, I didn't like what we saw in there one bit. Why are all those ghosts, why are all those boos even, putting ghosts inside crystals? And who is in charge? That sinister laugh coming from the bottom of the mine. Do you think it came from their leader? That photo was taken just before you arrived, so they're probably still down there. Oh. But the only way to know for sure is to investigate the Crystal Quarry, which on the map is really out of the way. We've got quite the linear adventure to go on. You'll find my E-gates on the way there. Don't be afraid to use them. Okay, Sonny. Get to the bottom of the mine and stop those boo from doing whatever it is they're doing. Let's harpoon on over there. So we're in the chalet and we can just go down this path if we really want to, but there's something missing. The rocking chair the hider was playing on just not too long ago, literally yesterday. Getting it will unleash the first boo already, or the second boo technically, but still. I'm booned, sir. You think you can be in here? Nah, mate, not with those shoes. Now clear off. Actually, if anyone's going to be clearing off, it's going to be you, buddy, because I'm going to suck you up and murder you for being such a hassle, really. Your tongue's too long. I mean, I know that's ironic coming from me, because I've got a pretty lengthy tongue, but still. Don't go up there, please, because I can't get you if you're over there. Thank you. Also, I've got a furball stuck on me, don't I? Yes, I do. Where'd you go? There you are. Easy peasy. Can I spit you into the fire? Because that would be great. No? Okay. I can hit you on the chandelier as well, though, if I wanted to. Oh! You landed right in front of me! How courteous! But yes, that is the yeah. boo of this mission. But there's still more to do here before we take the escalator or ele e elevator. Escalator's the moving chair. There's still more we can get. Go back to the chalet approach and go through here again. You'll find... Well, this... I didn't want it this quickly. You'll find a chicken thing. What we want to do is we want to burn it. It's, again, really obscure. But now that we've burnt it, what we can do is follow this path. And eventually, somewhere around here, we should find... Here it is. A portrait. I didn't even see this last mission. I was not paying attention. But... This will give us our sixth sapphire. Look at that! It actually has colour! I won't be able to experience this sort of contrasting colour visuals until I get those chroma glasses back in... Well, not back in, over in the summer. I'm gonna buy some in chroma glasses to get rid of my colour blindness. And then I shall forever look like a cool kid because I'm always wearing sunglasses. Anyway, now we can move on. Into the airway. Any more of that leader giggling? I'm listening out for it now. No? Well, alright. We're supposed to go left. In fact, the door's unlocked now and we don't need to worry about the toad. But instead, we're gonna go right into the basin. Because there is a secret in here. Although, I wouldn't know how you'd work it out. 
It's a hidden pickaxe somewhere around here. Turns out the gem is not even in the basin. In fact, it's in the prospector's path because the gem is in the ice. But we don't have a toad anymore to weigh things down. So what we need to do is, I think actually you don't even have to go in here. You have to go in the station for it? Because here I think is where the hidden pickaxe is. No, that's just a normal pickaxe. There it is, really weirdly placed, hard to see, hidden pickaxe over here. But you don't pick up the pickaxe to break through the ice, no, what you do is you spin this pickaxe. Doing that moves the entire wall that gives you some blocks of wood. Plonks of wood, planks of wood. And then we use that to weigh everything down so that the gem is released. Very obscure game. What are you doing? Why are you putting collectibles way off of the path after some really elaborate, complicated puzzle? I thought you were better than that, Nintendo. <sighs> anyway, now we can progress to where the story wants us to go. Apparently I didn't activate the high wires, or they're just not working this mission. That's inconvenient. Well, at least I can listen to the main theme music of this mansion. I don't know why, I just, this is my favorite remix of the main theme of the place. Just the instruments and the way it plays, I just like it. It's my favorite. Now let's move on to the left. Welcome to the crossroads. We have a new mechanic, which I quite like. I really like how it is, and I like the cutscene that follows once we discover it. It's this thing. Dork. Now you're thinking with portals. Go through one and come out the other. Nice and easy, but this is also where we're going to find the opportunity to do a bunch of portal based puzzles. Although, not quite to the extent of maybe the portal games, but we do need to move items in between portals quite a few times in the rest of this game to get more items. So, move items across portals to get items. You know what I mean. Like in that case, Melt ice of key with fire. Very complicated stuff. Oh. Now then, welcome to the icy slope. I wish I could have been to a place like this in my young age, but oh well. In the American version of this game, this is called the skip slope. Don't know why, because it's clearly ice, Whoa. not skip. But anyway, there is a gem down this path. Don't worry, we have multiple attempts to go down this place, so I'm going to ignore that key on the le right. If we take the path on the left, though, that's where the gem usually is. I missed everything. Oh well. Thankfully there is a portal right here for us, or oh, an E-gate. I'll call it an E-gate because that's what they're supposed to be called. And then it takes us right back to the top again. In fact, this time I think I'm going to try and get both the gem and the key. So, going to the right, and jumping for that key, and then all the way to the left. There we go, for the sapphire, shaped like a star. Where's that animation? There it is. Nope, that's the key. There's the animation for the sapphire. Just back to back and really delayed. Also over here, there is a thing you can pull. See, this one I somehow could recognize it's a thing you pull. Doing that gets you a bucket. Interesting. Once it breaks, when it breaks, it unleashes a gold mouse, which we can then use to, well, explode and turn into gold coins. This barrel you use to spin to unlock the door that's actually supposed to be lockers. Well, or the other way around. Don't know why. It seems a bit padded out. Why not just let me open a door instead of having to open a barrel to get a fan, to spin the fan, to open the real door? Or at least reveal the entrance to the door. I don't know. Anyway, smuggler's hideout. Nothing in this portrait, even though you'd think there would be because of its outline. Fiery log. I'm gonna just melt everything. Don't mind me. I'm going to get this guy first, actually, if I can. If I can. Anything else? Oh, Gruesome. Doing that gets you three gold bats. I never did like bats, because I can't hit any of them. In real life, never even seen a bat before, but I, I probably like them. They seem kind of cute sometimes, and scary. Depends on the context. Anyway, let's melt the rest of this room, and oh boy! It's a sneaker and two greenies. 
one of the greenies hurt his head. Oh, poor thing. Why has he started doing that recently? Why is the sneaker looking at us like he's in a mirror? There's no mirror there, I'm pretty sure. Oh well, I shall accept it. It means I can see him so I can actually attack him. So that's all good. Right, time for a double greenie action. Break through his barrier and... You may notice that the A pull is getting higher much quicker. That's thanks to the Poltergust 5000 upgrade that I've got. Super Poltergust 5000, that's what it's called. Surely you should call it the Poltergust 5001, at least, you know? Or maybe the Poltergust 6000 if you really must, but... Oh well, either way, I can now attack ghosts much more better. And these chests really so easily only have one coin in them. What a waste. Right. Now we can't actually freeze this ice any quicker because the fire runs out once we touch the window. So you have to blow it shut. Have they even told us that we can blow with the Poltergust yet? Because I feel like they haven't told us. Even so, I know it in general, but still. Bad design game if I need to use a thing that you didn't teach me how to use. Now welcome to the shaft. Very small room, but very tall room. Blowing on the wheel makes things go down. Now pay attention to the background. We have, first of all, money. But also, we have... Da, 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 da. Oh my god, it's a greenie with a gem that we can't reach. And then a slammer with a g emerald I guess we can't reach. You can't reach them, as I said. But they're trying, so good on them. What else do we have? We also have a golden greenie right nearby. Well, then let's just suck him up. Only the golden greenie is actually accessible. Thankfully, though, that's the only one we really want. And he clears out the place. Poor gold greenie, but hey, he's valuable, so of course I'm going to kill him. Now, something else that's quite important here is there's a second collectible for us. We could technically... Oh, actually, I want these coins as well, but no reason other than satisfaction. Nothing? Okay. What we want to do is pull this, and it does a whole lot of nothing. It, that, actually, it just lowers the chain a ton. Well, in that case, I'll pull it again. Now what happens is we want to lift this whole thing up a bit, and wait... Hold on, we did want to pull this? I'm pretty sure the gem is underneath this whole shaft thing. So, unless there's like a, wait, hold on, is there like a path here? There's a gem here, I I'll work it out in a minute. There we go, pulling the bar, or pulling the thing, unlocks a window way up higher. I thought it was underneath the thing, turns out it's not. That unlocks us, what, gem number nine? That's a lot of gems in two missions, weird. It's almost like we're almost done with this mission, even or this mansion, even though we've only done a couple and a half missions. Actually, we've done one and a half, if that. Again, as I said, weird pacing. All right, so welcome to the Coward's Chasm. I want to say chasm, but that's not quite right. First of all, you may notice something. It's not a cliff, it's a reflection. Well, the floor is a cliff, but the wall is not. But what's this? Over here, there's no reflection. Why, it's not just reflection, it's a fake mirror. I quite like this puzzle, although it did stump me for a good few seconds. I like it. No hidden bridge, just weirdness. You have to be courageous enough to walk on nothing. And then you can lift up the lanterns and do what? What does this do? Uh-oh, it unleashed a bunch of bat eyes at least. I want to see them again. Oh, I guess I should have expected that. A bunch of golden bats! Available for you if you explore... if you explore them? If you expose them. There we go. I'm surprised that place is called the same thing in the American version. Just Coward's Chasm. Now we come to... welcome? Weakum? Welcome to the Deep Passage, known as the Deep Hole in the American version, because passage doesn't exist in America. Mm -hmm. Deep ice there! I can barely hear you! You must have made it to the bot very bottom of the mine! Mm -hmm. So far, how... so far so good. Mm -hmm. The crystal quarry should be nearby. Try to find a way in. Mm -hmm. But whatever you do, don't pass with the... Ow. Um... Will do. Sure. Inspect the crystal quarry. So you'll see there's quite a few rooms available to us. This is the one we want to go to. So let's see what's going in. Going in, going on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wonderful. Ghosts torturing other ghosts. Lovely. Now, if you look over here, you'll see we can pull this thing and hopefully open the door. But we can't, because the ice block is in the way, so we need to find a way to get fire over there. Hey look, I found fire, but we have nothing flammable to pass on. So let's go to the only room that's actually accessible to us, shall we? Welcome to the pit mine, and we can see the other side of the portal, because we saw one in the room just before, and the other one's in the background there. So push ourselves all the way down here, and let's see what we can find. Something flammable, perhaps? Also, we have 499 gold. I guess that's enough for a gold bone to spawn. Let's see. Pull this, I would assume. And it makes the conveyor move. Lovely. And a bunch of beetles spawn. Why? I guess I guess maybe that was their home and we disturbed it by the sound movements. That or they're just being inconvenient. Seriously. How does this thing do five damage? Come on, man. Look. Beetles. Please stop. Thank you. I need this health suddenly. Even though I'm only getting hit by beetles. But whatever. Now. Spinny thing mean I must spin. I shall spin. Spinny thing. Can can I spin spinny thing? There we go. Doing this, yeah, I guess it's more about the whole coal mine rock crystal extraction thing. You make crops spawn by putting them on the conveyor. And then they go through the E gate. Now we can burn them like a good Samaritan and get through that door by defeating the ice. A nice and easy puzzle, I must admit. So, let's go grab ourselves a rock. Any will do. We don't really need three, we only need one, but sure. It's nice and hot. Let's throw it at that. And I like how the rock, like, stays in the air for a moment, because that's how physics work. Alright, so we've unlocked one side. And now the other. Let's go through. What do we got? Welcome to the Cinder Mine. Once again, you'll see... A bunch of ice on the side, so we need to... Whoop, don't... My... Please stop. And you. No, stop. Thank you. We need to burn stuff. How do we do that? I don't know. Maybe doing the only thing we can pretty much interact with at this point. Stop! Stop, mice! Stop. Oh, now there's a golden one. I'm alright with that one. But these mice are getting really annoying. Too repetitive. Somehow, you'd think that would change, like, a water pressure thing. That's what I... Well, I guess it... No, no, that's definitely not right. Oh well. Now that we've got this burnt, we can unlock this little alcove. Which is all nice and easy and good. Get some treasure in a minute. But also, let's go get ourselves a key, can we? Uh, uh, any any minute. Uh, please, game, you need a target for me to be able to succeed in this. No? Not an option? Do you want me to just literally throw it and hope for the best? Okay, I guess i got to lower it? I don't know what it's asking me to do. Great, I've got a rock. Oh, of course, because you can't projectile throw a log. That's just impossible. But a rock? Something potentially even more dense? Sure, that makes perfect sense. Just give me my key and let me get out of here while I leave a piece of burning wood on top of some wood safe. Now, if that sounds anything to go by, there are some ghosts here. That usually means a ghost has spawned in some manner. Also, I want this. I want... Uh, how did I... Oh, I was going to say, how did I suck him... Freaking... I was going to say, how did I suck him up? If Or flash him, even. If he's wearing that thing anyway. I mean, I know he's supposed to be vulnerable, but why? How can he not get turned on by the flash? Whatever. I've also since noticed you can peek through here. If I can get the right angle on it. What's in here? Oh, hey, look. It's the hidden thing we've already fixed. Whoopsity whoopsie. I didn't know it was there because it was too far to the left. And Okay, that animation just looked really weird without any sort of sound effect. But I'm going to take this ruby-ish gem. It's not actually a gem, but I just want it for my own sake. I can't even burn it. Oh, what a waste. But you may notice if you look up, there's another gem up here. Interesting. Well, then I'll just grab a rock. They haven't all despawned, have they? No, they're over here, for some reason. Okay, in that case, I keep making that sound rock. Do what you do. Let's go and get this gem. There we go. It sounded like I was going to some dubstep remix then, but no, that was just me repeating my words because nothing was working. There we go. Gem number 10. And with all that done, we also have a key. So let's go forward. Oh. Ah! 
Allow me to introduce the mini bosses of the secret mine. The crystal quarry is where we unleash the new type of ghosts, the slightly stronger versions, all chained up and crystallized. They're called, you won't believe this, the strong greenie, the strong sneaker, and the strong slammer. What inventive names. I like your lack of animation, but now that we've unleashed him, you shall find that he has 150 HP. That's like five times his normal original version. So much more health, probably does more damage as well, but he goes down in a cinch with the Super Bowl to Gus 5000. It probably would have been best to take out the slam the sneaker first because they're the ones that can actually interrupt you the most, but although the greenie just succeeded then, but still. Oh well. The one that you choose to look at is the one that will show up first. Probably obvious, but thought I'd tell you just in case. Now, get in here please. Thank you. Na 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 poo poo. See, they may be stronger, but they're not any smarter. And suddenly I guess all fears are gone because they're strong? I don't know. But they're nice and easy to defeat. If anything, it's a bit of a cop out of a mini boss because it's just stronger versions of ghosts we've already met. Oh well. Oh. Hello? Crafty, what was going on there? Those crafty boots fled the scene of the crime, eh? And you say they have been ordering the ghosts to take the crystal away? Well, on the bright side, you managed to capture those powerful ghosts. I'll need to say that I'm bringing you back. Again, I interrupted my own set of the next sentence. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. <sighs> Two missions, ten gems. Gems. Two boos, five gold greenies, six gold greenies even. Jesus, this is a lot of stuff and a secret door. Just over 18 minutes. How much treasure? Quite a bit, not too much. Two stars, good enough. If you don't mind me, I need to go home for a little bit, for literally a few hours. I have a school reunion to go to, so let's move this on, shall we? Good to see you back here, Luigi. Let's see what you've got. I like how it's just one sentence now before we get into this animation, and it's much quicker than the first time we ever did it, where Luigi was confused on what to do. So we got a gem, and 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 a... Oh, I was expecting another gem. Never mind. A new ghost. A strong slammer. And a strong greenie. And a boo. We don't care about you, we care about the strong sneaker. Oh, I guess we already got the strong sneaker. Okay, whatever. Treasure means nothing anymore. We're just getting more for a total score, I guess. Yes. Awkward silence. Again, awkward silences. Happening more and more in the second half of the game, I guess. I've got a theory. That strong ghost you captured back in the old clockworks. I think I know what happened to him. Someone seems to be controlling all the ghosts in the valley, but it doesn't stop there. They've also figured out a way to use the crystals in the mine to strengthen the ghosts. And if they've been extracting crystals this entire time and taking them elsewhere, I fear we may end up going against much stronger ghosts in the future. That wouldn't be good. And to top it off, we still have no idea who's pulling the strings. Do we now? Okay. Who could orchestrate such a thing? Luigi, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Probably not, because my mind moves at like half a megabyte an hour. And apparently he's not going to tell us what's going on anyway. But we got all the collectibles in the second mission, so I never have to come back. Next time, we're going across the chasm. Ooh. For now though, money's been Daz, you didn't really care and I'll see you in a bit. No turning off the computer this time, be careful. <laughs>